How to do built-in shelves on a budget. So our daughter just recently got married and moved out. This was her old bedroom, which is not a big space. But we're trying to repurpose it into an office space. The exception that we did put a day bed in here just in case we had any visitors that stopped by and wanted to spend the night. One of the first projects that we've got going on in here though is building a corner shelf right here from floor to ceiling. Now we could go out and buy two shelves, but we kind of waste the corner if we do that. We also could buy a corner shelf already made, but we really like the idea of customizing it to, the, to our own measurements that we prefer. And not only that, but we can do this for about $150. So stick around. Okay, so here's the materials that I'm using. I'm using a one by two, it's pre-cut. I'm actually gonna use these for my frame, for my shelves. I'm using shelving board, which is a one by 12 spruce, which actually it's more like 11 and a quarter or so. And I'm using a one by six, uh, this is just pine. And I'm gonna use that for the bottom and top kind of to frame it in. And then I'm using these like one and a half inch lattice strips is what we call them. Um, to just kind of finesse it at the end. I've also got some trim for the floor. Uh, that's not really in this project, but anyway, that's why it's there. So before we get started, it's important to note that there's about a thousand different ways to do everything, which means that there's a lot of ways to get it right. Now, I'm not a pro, but I love doing budget-friendly projects like this. So you may not be a pro. Don't let it scare you. Just jump in and get started. Find which one you like and go with it, whichever one it is. As long as you get the end result you want, it's all that matters. So what we want right here is about 30 inches on this shelf coming from the corner. We want this one to be about 36 inches and we're gonna do that all the way up, spacing it, you know, every uh, foot or so, something like that. And I'm using these one by twos to frame all that up. So I've got the shorter one here to go on that side right here. And then this longer one to go up through here. So let's get busy putting those up. So those are officially up. And what I've come back and done is I've put these on here as kind of a spacer for the next one that goes across so that I have something to tie into. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Okay, so this side is done. Again, that's a, that's a one by 12 shelving board running all the way down the side and framing that up with those one by twos like that. And it's pretty stout. So uh, it's ready for shelving in this side, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side uh, with the frame and the shelving board on the side as well. What I've done is I've sistered a board onto this, this one running across. I've sistered a one by two right on that. And that way I've got something to screw this into that comes across. Uh, making it much stronger and sturdier. And then this side piece, this shelving board, I've actually just got screwed into the sides like that. And of course, I'll go back over with wood putty and uh, put that over there and sand it down because we plan on painting all of this white. So now we're ready to put some shelves on. Well, so far so good. I got a few more things to do before I paint, but uh, looking good so far. Let me show you just a few details. So up here, I took a one by six, trimmed it out up here. I'm gonna go back with some painter's caulk there and there and some wood putty and sand it down and then paint that white. Up under here, I decided to put shelving board because I didn't want anyone to just look at the ceiling. I wanted it to be a very clean look. And as we paint all this, and then down low, I took my extra shelving board and just cut it down so that it was uh, level with the shelves. And I'll put some wood putty and some painter's caulk on there and paint that white as well. So uh, a little bit more to do. I'm going to put some trim around these to give it a finished look. And so I'm going to jump on that right now. So one thing that I did to give it a more finished look was put these pieces in and all I did there was use what lumber I had left so that I didn't have to buy any. So 
um, cut them down to size because it's pretty hard to find a one by two and a half inch locally anyway. So just improvised and did my own to give it that more finished squared off look. And I'm going to go back and put some wood putty here and some painter's caulk and start to paint. Well, there you go, all finished and all that for about $150. And I think that's a really good deal. But like I said, there's about a thousand different ways that you can do just about everything. All that matters is you pick one, go for it, and hopefully you end up with the finished product that you want. As for us, we're happy with this. So thanks for watching.